Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's MC here. Today we are going to talk about learning Chinese characters again. Chinese characters is definitely one of the hardest part of learning Chinese because there are so many of them. They kind of look similar, sound similar, but I think to learn Chinese characters, you need to understand it in order to use it or memorize it easily. And really be creative about characters because they all look like drawings. I will show you how to imagine a character with my associative drawings. In this way, you can really understand it easily and to memorize it quickly. Without further say, let's get started and try it out. We will go through another five radicals today. For each radical, three example characters and uh, related words, sentences. By the end, you will remember all the radicals and the characters. The first radical, kou, meaning mouth. By its form, it's an open mouth. So all the characters with radical kou are mouth related. First character, xi, to suck, to inhale. So it's kou zi pang, kou, mouth related. And imagine this long line as a straw. So you use straw to xi. So this character xi means to suck. The common word hu xi, to breathe. For example, ni yi ban qu na li hu xi xin xian kong qi. Ni yi ban qu na li hu xi xin xian kong qi. Where do you usually go for fresh air? Let me know in the comment. Character jiao, ji yao jiao, to call, to shout, to yell. So mouth, kou. And here, can you imagine when you're trying to yell or shout, you do this. Put your hands over your mouth so the voices can go far. Ah, so the voice can go through from this part to go far. So together use mouth to yell, jiao, to call, to shout, to yell. It usually use on its own. For example, there is an internet phrase, 你妈叫你回家吃饭. Your mom is calling you to go home to eat. So it basically means you should go, you should leave. So next time when you see someone is really annoying, you can tell them 你妈叫你回家吃饭了 Character 味, 味 Flavor, taste 口, mouth 味 means not So here it plays a phonetic role So this whole character pronounced 味 Same as this part, 味 But imagine here so it looks like two canyon peppers. So when you see this, you feel that it's spicy taste. So wei, use mouth to taste pepper. Taste, flavor. The common word wei dao, wei dao means taste, flavor. For example, 你喜欢什么味道的冰淇淋? What flavor of ice cream do you like? I wanted to know, comment below. The second one, yan, yan zi pang. It looks like a microphone, so it's speaking related. Also, in traditional Chinese form, it still use the character yan. Yan means speaking. So characters with yan zi pang are all speaking related. Character xie, to thank. We all know this, right? Let's take a look. So, yan zi pang, speaking, shen, body. So imagine the whole character, a person standing up from the chair to use the microphone to thank for the audience. So it's to thank, common word, xie xie, thank you. For example, xie xie ni xi huan wo de shi ping, 
Thank you for liking my videos. I really mean it. 谢谢你们 Character 训训 to lecture to give a lesson, especially when someone made a mistake. So 言字旁 speaking this part. 川 river. So imagine when someone is lecturing you, the person is trying to speaking like a running river, and it feels never end. So 训 to lecture to give a lesson. The common word 教训教训 to lecture to give a lesson. For example, 妈，你别教训我了 Mom, it's enough lecturing. Have you ever said this sentences to your mom? Because I did. Character 记记 to calculate to count. So 言字旁 speaking this part 十 means number ten. So characters usually with 十 inside. It's number related. Imagine this: when you don't have a calculator, what do you do to count? I will use my words. For example, 十二加十三，二加三等于五，一加一等于二，等于二十五。See, I will speak in the numbers to count to calculate. So, 计 to calculate to count. The common word 计算 to calculate to count. For example, 你可以计算出一百二十一点二五加一百零五点一七吗 ？Well, we just added a math class. Can you count one hundred twenty one point twenty five plus one hundred five point seventeen? If you have the answer, comment below. Let me know. The third one, 草草字头。草 means grass, so characters with 草字头 are all plant related. Character 花花 flower, so 草字头 plant related. The bottom part pronounced as 花花 so you cannot place the phonetic row here. Together it pronounced as 花 this part pronounced as 花 Hua usually can be used on its own. For example, 你最喜欢什么花 What's your favorite flower? I like sunflowers. What's yours? Comment below. Let me know. Maybe I'll find my new favorite. Character: 苗苗 Sprout: 草字头 Plant related. Bottom part: 田 Farmland: Sprouts. Growing from farmland, from the ground, 苗 sprout. The common word 苗条 slim. Look at the sprout; it's very thin, and the 条 is strip. So together, 苗条 means very slim. But it's a good word to describe a tall girl looking fit. For example, 她很苗条，她很苗条 She's slim. Character 茶 this will be a lot of your favorite. 茶 tea, so 草字头 plant related, and the whole character looks like a tea tree with all the branches, leaves. So tea 茶 many words like 绿茶 green tea, 红茶 black tea, 白茶 white tea, 抹茶 matcha. So what's your favorite tea? Leave your favorite tea in the comment. The fourth one, radical 木木 meaning tree or wood. So by its form, it looks like a tree branches or wooden board bonded together. So all the characters with radical 木 are tree or wood related. Character 果割物果 fruit. So it's 木 so it's tree related. Imagine the top part as an orange or grapefruit. It's divided into equal parts, and it looks like a fruit. So a fruit growing on the tree. So 果 means fruit. Common word 水果水果 fruit. 
For example, 你最喜欢什么水果 What's your favorite fruit? I love blueberries. How about you? Comment below. Let me know. Maybe I'll find out something I've never tried before. Character, 根，歌恩，根 ，root. So by looking at the character, this side, it's 木 tree or wood related, and together you can see all these lines towards different direction. It really looks like root. So 根 root, it can be used on its own. For example. 我的根在中国，你的根在哪里 ？My root is in China. Where is your root? Let me know. Character 梁 ，le yi ang liang. Original meaning bridge. Look at this character. 木 wood related, because in ancient bridges are made by wood and 三点水 it always related to water. So wood water. Together, liang means bridge, and it also developed into bin. But generally, it's this very stable part where it's a construction main support. Common word, 桥梁桥梁桥 here it's the modern language of bridge. So 桥梁 also means bridge, and it means connection between two areas. For example, 我是连接中国文化与美国文化的桥梁。你呢 ？I'm the bridge to connect Chinese culture with American culture. How about you? The fifth one, the last one. Radical 走之旁。So here, imagine it as a little bridge for you to walk through. So characters with 走之旁 are usually leg movement related, walking, moving, etc. Character 进基因进 to enter. So 走之旁 is leg movement, moving, walking related. 井 it's manhole. Here it plays the phonetic role. So the whole character 进 pronounced similar as. But here you can imagine it as a gate and、uh, this ball to enter the gate. So Jing to enter. For example, 中国队终于进球了 Finally, Chinese team scored. Character 过歌窝过 meaning to cross to pass. So 走之旁 leg movement, walking, moving related. So walking across the little bridge. 过 to cross to pass. For example, 你过了 HSK 几级了 Which HSK level did you pass? Let me know in the comment. Character 运 to transport to carry. So 走之旁 it's moving, walking related. The top part 云 means cloud, and here it plays the phonetic role. 云运 However, you can imagine it as two packages. So you use legs to walk in to transport packages. 运 to transport to carry. The common word 运动运动 exercise workout. For example, 你一周运动几次 How many times do you work out per week? 我一般每周运动五次你呢 To end it. Let's review on all the radicals to see if you fully get the concept. Characters with radical ko mouth related. Characters with radical yan speaking related. Characters with radical cao zi tou are plant related. Characters with radical mu are tree wood related. Characters with radical zou zhi pang are all leg movement, walking, moving related. All right, that's all the content we have for today. I hope it helps you to understand the radical meanings and the character meanings. Please let me know in the comment if this method works for you, and if you have any comment suggestions, please do let me know. That will help me to improve for the next time. Lastly, if you liked today's video or it is helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. 
And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. From now on, I will update weekly on Chinese cultures, Chinese characters, and a lot of more. Please subscribe so you won't miss it. I will see you next time. Later.